future direct. Hey, uh, my most sincerest apologies for my pronunciation of this dish. I genuinely have no idea how it's pronounced. I've seen it pronounced and spelled in so many different ways. So I mean no offense. All I know is I absolutely love it. So let's crack on mate. Is a Lebanese dish which comprises lentils and rice with caramelized onion to give a whole bag of flavor. And it's a fantastic uh, vegetarian dish that can be a side or a main. Now the way that I do it, I take it to the next level with a whole host of additional ingredients which I feel fit the bill and really take it to be a really satisfying meat-free main meal. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's cook. Right then, fella, this is the shopping list for the pimped out, what I'm gonna call Mujadara. Yes. And there's some real good ingredients, as you can see. So we've got the classic ingredients, the rice and the lentils. You don't want the red ones, you want the green, the brown, okay? You can get the dried or in the tin, whatever floats your boat, uh, but you're gonna want about a ratio of about 50% lentils to the quantity of rice uh, that you feel is appropriate for the serving that you're creating, okay? So rice, lentils, then the third key ingredient is the onion. You're gonna want a big onion, you wanna want a lot of onion because that's what creates the, the, uh, the, the classic combination. Then you've got the, the flavorings of the ground cumin, the sumac, the oregano, and the salt and the pepper. That is the essentially the basis of this. But then we're going to go to the bits that pimp this out that really elevate it to the next level. We're going to have a sprinkling of sesame seeds. Then we're going to have raisins. Now, I would say it has to be the jumbo ones, the jumbo golden raisins i've actually got a pack of jumbo golden raisins and uh, cranberries so that's going to be more flavor bombs then i'm going to have a sprinkling of feta cheese that's saltiness we're going to squeeze over some lamb and some uh, spring onions uh, to really bring it all together so this is next level mujadara Okay, so this is just a quickie. You're going to want to cook your rice and your green lentils separately. This is the way I do it. Just do it to the package descriptions. As I say, you want a half ratio of lentils to rice because uh, this dish is more about the assembly than anything else. We get everything ready and then it all comes together and it hits the spot. Right, so the first step on this mission is to slice up your large onion. So just slice it into nice slices, then break it up. You want kind of big pieces, but you want thin pieces because this is gonna be caramelized. So get your pan, get it onto like a medium heat, lots of oil, put those onions in the pan and start sweating them till they start to go translucent. Then we're going to throw in our salt. We're gonna season it, okay? It's gonna take a little bit of time, low and slow. You can throw in a little bit of sugar that will help caramelize it, but you'll see after a period of time, they'll start to caramelize, they'll start to be all stuff and squidgy. Um, and that's the point that we wanna to get to, okay? We wanna to get to this point because then we start to add all of the other ingredients and this then starts to caramelize it, dry out a little bit further, add in a, a the flavors okay so the first thing is we're going to throw in these raisins so as i said i've got this raisins and cranberries but in the jumbo golden uh raisins they are the little kiddies that you want to chuck in this dish because they are packed full of flavor they completely revolutionize this dish to throw them in and you know they don't need cooking but if you put them in the pan now um they're going to soften they're going to take on you know a little bit of that oil uh, and they're going to start to get really really juicy so then we hit the flavoring okay so we've got the oregano okay then we're going to throw in a little bit of the sumac um, so this is the, put as much of this as you prefer. It can be quite tart, but throw in a teaspoon of that. Um, and then, you know, the old classic is the ground cumin. So, you know, again, throw in as much as you like, but you're going to want, you know, at least a teaspoon. 
And then it's starting to bring everything together. This is the exciting bit. So in goes our cooked rice, okay? And then goes in our lentils. So as I said, about 50% ratio of the rice to the lentils, or even a little bit less, is, is fine, because you're gonna have all of those caramelized onions. So as you can see, I'm now squeezing on some sesame oil. That's just gonna add a little bit more flavor, and also help to bring everything together. So now we're just mixing this. We are mixing this because we want everything to, to, to go through that rice. We don't want that rice to be bland. We want it to be hit with so much flavor all the way through. Now, as you can see, those green onions are going through. These don't need to be cooked, but we'll just throw them in, mix them through, because we want to make sure uh, that they are running through the dish i don't really want them as a topping because we have loads of toppings mate we have loads of toppings so these are going to go through so it's assembly time okay mujadara assemble so we're just essentially just going to pour it into the into the uh the old bowl there so let's see if i can do it without making a mess which is what i usually do and come on fella get it in there get all those uh, Caramelized onions. Go on then. Hurry up. Rightio. So looking good. Give it a bit of a shriek. Cheers, buddy. Stick that one in your gob. And right, so now for the toppings. We're starting with the feta cheese. Definitely not traditional. The triangle works a treat, absolutely love this. The saltiness just goes through with every single bite. Uh, then a load of sesame seeds, because who doesn't like sesame seeds on pretty much everything, okay? That's a good one. And then we've got the lime, just to give a little bit of a acidity running through this wonderful, wonderful dish. Don't forget to magic on your dips. So there we have it. That's the finished meal, and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, you can see the way that I have added to it, the feta cheese, the sesame seeds, the raisins. They're not traditional ingredients, but for me, I think they really make this. They take it to the next level. So it's well worth adding. Uh, no disrespect to the original recipe, of course, because I've had the original version a number of times. Just, you know, sometimes when you want it to really pack a punch and have loads of flavor for a main meal, this is what you want to do. You want to add these little additions, the spices, the flavors, little dips on the side as well. They always go down a treat. So I hope you really like this. I know that I will. Let me just have a quick taste. The raisins give it that real nice sweetie, that sweetie flavor bombs, as well as the feta cheese, that saltiness. It really complements it. So as I say, I hope you like it. If you do, let me know. And uh, subscribe to the channel uh, for more videos just like this. So we'll see you soon. Take care.